when you mention the word comedy, I think of humor. I think of jokes that are communicated in order to bring laughter, in order to bring happiness. And there are usually two avenues that are usually utilized, stand-up and skits. Stand-up comedy began in the late 19th century. It's an unprecedented sort of entertainment. There is no narrative structure, no plot, backstory, sets, editors or producers. It's comedy reduced to its basics, a comedian and an audience, where you either square a laugh or you don't. As British comedian Jimmy Carr and writer Lucy Grievous put in their book, only joking, what's so fun about making people laugh? Stand-up comedy is a peculiar performance art. In a room filled with people, the comedian is the only one who's facing the wrong way. He's also the only one who isn't laughing. For normal people, that's a nightmare, not a career aspiration. Comedy skits are now a popular art form, mainly due to the rise of smartphones and social media. Anyone can do a comedy skit and put it on TikTok or Instagram. Comedy skits are usually involved acting in which a person portrays a role in a comic way. It can be a person impersonating Nelson Mandela, or a boy putting makeup and impersonating Slay Queens, or it can be stand-up comedy. Nuance has to be exercised when one is dealing with comedy, because stand-up and skits tend to link sometimes when someone is telling a joke. Well, pause. How does one tell a joke? This is how comedy works. Uh, I mean, really all comedy. Anytime you laugh, this, this formula is taking place in one way or another, but specifically with regards to stand-up, this is how it works as well. Um, first, there's a setup, and then there's a punchline. Let me explain. The setup is when a comedian will use his talents and resources to seize any opportunity to ensure that you, the audience, are moving in the same direction. The punchline occurs when he changes that direction in a way you're not expecting. When you catch on to this change, you've received the punchline. The results are revelation, fulfillment, and joy expressed through laughter. Well, now we're on the same page. Moving on. Really, I'm not an expert in comedy. I'm just someone who has been consuming comedy a lot ever since I was a child. And there are techniques that I've seen comedians use over the years and really what this video is about. Visual or physical comedy is a technique that involves embodiment in which the comedian becomes a joke. Instead of just verbal narration, the comedian utilizes body language. In visual comedy, it's not about the type of body you have. In its simplest sense, visual comedy is what you do with your body, every part being utilized. In order for physical comedy to work, there is a general assumption that the audience is familiar with the illustration which the comedian is illustrating. Vapor or ear candy technique relies heavily on the comedian's ability to communicate verbally. The comedian has to master eloquence and to master accents and also to master the ability to change their voice. The ear candy technique is a, a technique that requires someone who is well versed with what's happening around because really what you're communicating is content, content that's relevant and content that people can relate to and understand. And one comedian that I think is quite a master of the ear candy technique is Trevor Noah. As you see, Jacob Zuma, unlike the rest of us, doesn't conform, he doesn't conform to the norms, you know? He doesn't conform to the laws of grammar and punctuation as we mere mortals, no. No, not our president. Comma, for who? For you, maybe, not me. Comes out there, confidence, cadence, wherever he pleases, reading out. Will have and always will be proud members of the A. And C. And as such, we are proud supporters of the devil. Lopment. rural areas 
and as such, it is of utmost importance. Trevor Noah is such a talented comedian. If you are to take his impression of Jacob Zuma and put it side by side with Jacob Zuma reading a speech, the difference is minimal. So thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Possessive Vlog. I've been Pride Bongani and you have been the people. Issue. Pretty good actually. Wait, wait, wait. We got an announcement to make. Well, what's up guys? Um, I don't know if you noticed at the beginning of the video, it said Zazze White in, instead of Zazze Vlog. So what's happening is that we are expanding Zazze Vlog and we're going to start creating more content. And so starting from next week, we're going to start doing something called Zazze 5. And so Zazze 5 is going to come up on the YouTube page on Monday. And yeah, can't wait for you guys to, to see that. Do you wanna do you wanna do the thing where I disappear? <laughs>